sport is in decline, man. Yeah, well, everyone I know plays. When was the last time you saw someone under 25 at a table? Jesus. Exactly. It's the online shit. It's killing us. That stuff's got no soul. You gotta be able to see the appeal. Log on, play whenever you want. There's no finding four or five hours for everybody to get together. You don't have to worry about someone bugging out. There's always someone out there ready to play. The world exists whether you're playing or not. It's also mechanical, you know? The other gamers are as real as you That's are. That's not what I mean. At a table, the game and the rules are fluid. You know, a good GM can take things into consideration. A clever player can try something novel, you know? Hmm. Online, you can't do anything the designers didn't think of beforehand. You can't take any action that isn't already programmed into the game. You lose the spontaneity. Okay, but you gain convenience. I, <clears throat> look, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not advocating for MMO over tabletop. It's not a lot of us old-timers in. Like who? When was the last time you saw Arena? Seriously? She runs a guild. Almost never leaves her apartment. Shit. Exactly. How are you holding up there? Fine, considering. How are you? Okay. A little burned on the coach thing. But I'm still in the running for GM for the championship. In spite of... Another the thing with the consortium. Hey, I made my bed. I just wish... Oh, that speaking of which... Say hi to Sissy. Thanks for the talk, man. Huh. I will see you later. Jackie, guess who? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a good guess. Hey, look, uh, I'm kind of rushed here, so I just wanted to know... <laughs> okay, sorry. How are you, you ancient ass bag? I'm delighted. Now, <laughs> Jesus, lay off. I just wanted to know if you could come by and run me and my guys through a couple of scenarios. No. no, I'm not asking if you can coach. Because we don't need a fucking coach, we... Look, why you gotta drink my juice? All I'm asking is... Okay. Okay! Call me later. Ass hat. Have you guys seen this? What? Her computer? Shut up, retard! Ignore her, Paul. I repeat, what? The Americans have filed. Any surprises? Look! Oh well, this is interesting. Interesting? Jesus, shut up, dard! My IQ cannot be accurately measured by conventional means. Uh, we know, Paul. So? Well, this certainly does change things. We need to explore some additional strategies. I believe that Pantyweight Thrake pissed off. I would consider a Piedmont maneuver, perhaps followed by a feint to Montjoy to throw them off. Hmm. Perhaps. Shall I sit up the table? Not tonight. I, I need to sleep on this. Tomorrow, though. Bright and early. Do you think right will be a problem? I don't know, dear. I don't know. White howls in agony as it stumbles away from your raised holy symbol. I'm going to try and back it into the nearest corner. It's clearly terrified of your shiny symbol of spiritual power. Leave the poor thing alone. Lorian pokes his long sword into the open sarcophagus, looking for anything interesting. We should kill it. Why? It's turned. Cripes, just leave it alone. Will I find anything? Just decaying rags and filth. The stench is overpowering. Roll endurance. Got it. You fight back the urge to vomit. I'm gonna clock it with my mace plus two. No! What? What did I say? 
Leave it alone. It sees you raise your mate. And its fear of your holy symbol overwhelms its sense of self-preservation. Roll it. Nineteen. You bring your glowing mace, arcing down into the unnatural creature's hideously terrifying face. Bone and cartilage splinter. The creature twitches and falls to the ground. Oh, yeah. What did I miss? Sam slaughtering defenseless undead. Gregor, through the dripping ichor of the ruined white's face, you see a glint of silver. What? With my mailed hand, I carefully reach in and see what it is. You pull out a pale platinum ring that was stuck between the white's teeth. After you rub off the dark black filth, you can make out ancient writing encircling the band. The paladin's ring. Hells yeah! My sacrifice was not in vain. Your sacrifice? You fell down a bottomless well. Hey. Hi. Where have you been, sweetie? I'm uh, just driving around. You hungry? Not really. I'm called all day tomorrow. You okay home by yourself? Not a child. That was, uh, that was good. All of you. Who's got the ring? Gregor's got the ring. There's no I in team, Sam. Yeah, but there's a U in scrotum. You little... Enough. Guys, that was good work. But Timmy's right. But I... What if you hadn't rolled high enough? That white would have broken its hold and mauled you. Lorian was yards away. Could have lost a level or worse. Look, I can take the hit. Damn it! You're a spellcaster now. That's the kind of attitude that might get us killed. Jackson's coming in next week to take us through a tournament scenario. He's pissed about John, so he'll be brutal. You talk to Jackson? I want the two of you to run through the top ten self-preservation scenarios from my stack here for each other. Find out a way to minimize team damage and report back to me. You fell down a well. I want you to go outside and run around the block until you collapse. So what about you? Strategy. I'll see you kobolds later. You remember Ted? Who? The writer on my show. Oh, yeah. He said that next month's going to be a very big month for me. It's great. Yeah. I turn into a samurai while being trampled by elephants in the Sahara. Oh, and I have this alien ninja baby all while playing the clone of my dead sister's ghost. Sounds awesome. Yeah, did you hear anything that I just said? What? Jesus, John. I know that it's been hard, but it's been six months since the accident. So easy for you, you know? You're the goddamn bell of the soap opera ball. You have no idea what it's like to be washed up. You and your beautiful. God. What? Oh, damn it, John, there is nothing wrong with your hand. No. It's psychosomatic. The doctor said you're fine. Oh, really? Then why am I in physical therapy? Because I couldn't stand you sitting around the house anymore in that stupid sling. It, because you won't go to a psychiatrist, and I didn't know what else to do. Well, thank you for taking pity on me. And because I love you. Maybe these days were numbered ways I can. I had the right stuff, just an insufficient amount. While they were handing us the sky high, all we were asking was why. Hi, 
I'm Andrew Deutsch. I'm the executive producer of Gold, the series. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And since it's an independently produced production, it's not got a lot of money. So, <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Oh, yeah. You like that, don't you? Get the edit, dude. So, we need all the help we can get. So, go to the series. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> So go to goldaseries.com, click on the donate button, and give anything you can. Five bucks, one dollar, ten dollars, it doesn't even matter. So, uh, thanks for watching. That was really fucking lame. <laughs> one more time, it was close. That was close.